I'm Michael Fluster, Extension Weed Specialist at Virginia Tech. Chaff lining is a form of harvest weed seed control, and with any form of harvest weed seed control, we're capturing the weed seeds that come into the front of the combine with the harvest operations. In chaff lining, we're taking those weed seeds and we're depositing them in a row, as you can see here, uh, with the chaff fraction of the crop residues. We're not killing the weed seeds with chaff lining, but we are concentrating them, taking them from 100% of the field and putting them on only less than 10% of the field. Well, one of the best crops is probably wheat because that's where chaff lining was developed in. Uh, but we also are testing it in soybeans, but potentially any crop that's harvested with a, a grain or a platform header uh, is going to be amenable to chaff lining. To chaff line your crop, uh, the biggest thing you need to do is modify the back of the combine. So in a lot of combines, the, sh the chaff fraction and the straw fraction come together and go through the straw chopper and get spread out from there. In those kinds of combines, you'll need a baffle to keep the chaff separate from the straw because the chaff is where the weed seeds are coming out. And we still want to spread those straw fractions evenly across the field. Uh, so you'll need that baffle and then you'll need to create a chute to funnel the, the chaff and the weed seeds into the narrow row behind the combine and create the chaff line. For chaff lining, we are piling up some of the crop residue in a line through the field. And one of the issues can be planting the next crop into that chaff line, right? We can have reduced emergence because of that kind of mulch layer that it creates there. We have seen a reduced stand of soybean after we plant that, after we double crop the soybean uh, after wheat chaff lining. However, uh, we have not seen that problem when we have tried to plant a crop after a soybean chaff lining. There's just a whole lot less chaff with soybean than there is with a wheat crop. So chaff lining doesn't actually kill the weed seeds, but it does condense them into that chaff line. And so you'll have much less weed pressure in the areas outside the chaff line, which is probably over 90% of the field, but you'll have increased weed pressure likely in that chaff line. So the weed seeds that emerge in the chaff line, we are seeing reduced emergence relative to if those weeds had been spread out. And so the, the, the thatch layer and the chaff is not as favorable of a germination environment and the weeds have to compete with themselves in that chaff line. Uh, but so far in our trials, we've seen how you'd manage the whole field with broadcast herbicide applications. It does a good job at controlling the weed seeds in that chaff line that emerge. So chaff lining is a modification that's relatively simple and something you can do yourself uh, if you have welding skills and some uh, materials and, and sheet metal on hand. That can probably be done for $500 to $1,000 in about a day, and there's some resources available on our website to help you figure out exactly how to do that. Alternatively, you could purchase a kit, uh, which is pretty easy to install yourself from manufacturers. Those are about five to $6,000. So we are looking at chaff lining in wheat with this experiment. So this study started back at wheat harvest, and we put our chaff rows down, and we, we simulated a range of wheat yields with that. The more yield you have, the more chaff will go into that line. So we looked at 25 all the way up to 100 bushels of wheat yield and put our chaff down. Then we added weed seeds, so we'd have a known quantity of weed seeds in each of our chaff lines to that. In this case, we put in Italian ryegrass. Uh, so we're comparing those chaff line plots to a conventional harvested, uh, conventionally harvested plot where we scattered the weed seeds out evenly across that plot. And so we'll be able to look at how a chaff lining compares to conventional harvest and how different ranges of wheat yields will affect that. So, so far in our research, the main thing we've seen that, it, that these chaff lining systems are feasible. We can implement these in our soybean rotation as well as in the wheat rotation. Our yield has been as good, or in limited cases, better when we chaff line uh, compared to a conventional harvest. In double crop soybean, we've seen that reduced emergence with the wheat chaff, but when you account for the reduced emergence in that limited area of the chaff line compared to the reduced weed pressure outside the chaff line, uh, we are seeing as good, or like I said, in limited cases, better yield from that soybean crop. The other thing we've seen is uh, reduced emergence. When you look at the number of weeds that are coming up in that chaff line area 
versus a conventional harvest, we're seeing up to a 60% reduction in the number of weed seeds that come up. One additional benefit we think we will see as we drive that weed seed bank down through management with harvest weed seed control techniques such as chaff lining is that we will see a reduced need for herbicide inputs for other weed management costs. And so we may be able to reduce that herbicide budget in the future as we drive the weed seed bank down.